Masters. Hello and welcome saxophone students back to another instructional video. Today I'm going over the piece Ghostbusters. This is the beginner band version by Michael Story and it's probably the best beginner band version out there. If you want to listen to the original piece, click the link in the description below. Today I'm going over the entire alto sax part measure by measure. I'm going to take the instructional portion of the video at 90 beats per minute and then when I run through the piece at the end of the video I'll be taking it 120 beats per minute which is indicated in my conductor score. So we're going to take this measure by measure. We're starting with a two measure rest and then we come in with the notes D, F, D, E, C and then D, 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 C, D and then down to low F sharp, G, G, low F sharp, G, G, low F sharp, Ghostbusters. That's where we say that, okay? So we have some rhythms here and we have some slur markings. Let's go over the rhythms first. We're starting at measure three and two and three and and two and three and I'll put that metronome on so you can hear the rhythms. Ready and and two and three and and two and three and and you'll notice this rhythm comes again in measures 33 and 34 so we do use that rhythm again now in case you don't know here are our notes okay okay I need to play that F sharp don't forget the F sharp um, when you have slur markings you're going to tongue the first note of that slur but not the second note of the slur so it should be ta 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 listen not that time I only tongued once this time I'm going to tongue all of them you don't want that either so you can say it on ta or da I'll say it on da now da 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 okay let's play it with the metronome all the way from there through Ghostbusters measures three to eight ready and Ghostbusters. Okay. Now, measures 9 through 12 are the same as 5 through 8, so I'm not going to go through them. At 13, we now have a new section, and now instead of using F sharp, we're using F natural. F, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, C, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, C, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, C, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, C, D, A. And we get down to that A. So I'm just doing that over and over. We do have some slur markings, so we're going to say da, 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 da. And we just repeat that over and over. So I'm going to play that section 13 to 21. Ready? We got to that A. Now we have seven beats rest till we get to 23. 23, we're going to start on beat two. Once again on that F natural. One. F, E, C. Ready and E, C, D. 27. F, E, C. E, C, 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 B, A, B, D. I don't know if those pitches were correct, but I did get the right notes. Um, you'll notice the note between 23 and 24, that C, and then the D between 25 and 26. It looks like a slur, but that's actually a tie. You're going to hold that note out for two beats. Don't tongue each one individually, okay? So here's 23 through 31. Ready and... Okay. All right. 
Now we're almost repeating back to the piece. Uh, we're just gonna go over the notes at 33, 34. I know I played them earlier and most of the sections I won't repeat, but for this, I think it's worth it. Remember, uh, we're using our tongue. Da, 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 da. Let's play that, 33, 34. Ready, and. Okay, now. This is the part of the piece where we are going to find, it says DS Alcoda. If you don't know what DS Alcoda means, DS Alcoda is telling us to go all the way back to where it says DS in the music. In this case, it's DS is at measure five. And we're supposed to repeat that section from measure five all the way down to where it says two coda. Two codas at the end of measure 18. So we're playing from the DS measure five through 18 where it says two coda. And that's instructing us to go to the bottom of the page where it says two coda. And we're gonna play or where it says coda, as you can see here on the page and coda to the end of the piece. So coda is one, two, three, four, five, six measures. So you're gonna play coda to the end those six measures. So we're repeating five to 18, and then we're playing coda to the end. That's the way the DSL coda works. So if we follow that logic and we play five through 18, we already practiced that. Now we're going down to the coda. The coda looks very similar to 13. I'm just gonna read through those notes. Here we go on the F natural. F, D, F, D, F, D, F, D, C, D, D. E, D, D, E, D, D, E, D, F sharp, Ghostbusters. Now, if you're calculating, you actually say Ghostbusters five times throughout this piece. You say it at the end. You'll say it in measures uh, eight and 12, but you'll say it on the repeat when you do the DSL coda also. Most likely, as you've gone through this video, you were not able to play all those sections perfect. Feel free to go back to any of those sections. Obviously, this is a video you can just scroll to wherever you need to go. Um, and then when you feel like you're ready, you can go on to the run through. Now for this run through, if you feel like you cannot play it at 120 beats per minute, you can always click on the gear icon down below the video and the gear icon will actually have an option for playback speed. You can go to 0.75 or even 0.5 and play through the piece at a slower tempo. And then when you get better, go to the normal tempo, even challenge yourself and go to 1.25 speed. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna play this piece 120 beats per minute and we'll go from top to bottom. Don't forget the DSL code. One, two, Ghostbusters. 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 All right, great job getting through that piece today. 
I hope you enjoyed working on Ghostbusters with me. Good luck if you're playing this in upcoming performance and happy practicing. Ghostbusters!